Hey everybody, welcome back to The Dude's Kitchen. In today's episode, we are going to the dogs, literally. We are making hamburgers for dogs. Zoe's had these before and she really does enjoy them. You know, let's face it, dogs like human food too. So I got to looking around a while back and I went to Purina and I think it was the American Kennel Club and I looked at foods that dogs could eat and what they can't eat. And I was very surprised at, at what they can and can't eat and we'll go over a little bit of that here soon. But this burger is beef and chicken with an egg and mozzarella cheese on it. That's it, there's no seasoning, no salt, no pepper, nothing, because dogs can't have that, right? They can't have onions, pickles, tomatoes, lettuce. They can't really have any of that. It's not good for them. But the thing is, too, we really have to watch out when we're making this burger about fat content, right? Because we don't want to overpower her diet with fat. We want lots of protein. So I did go for the leaner side. I got a mozzarella cheese here that's also a little bit leaner than, say, your normal. And it's also soft. The gravy we're going to make, by the way, we are making a gravy with this. We're going to use out of the drippings and the oil and the fat that comes off of the burger and the chicken. All right, let's start making it. First thing we want to do is we're going to make chicken patty. And I'm just taking a thing of chicken and it's super sticky guys, come on. I mean, it's crazy. I'm just going to lay it down in the pan and I'll show you here what it looks like in the pan here in a second. Now the chicken's going to take longer to cook, so I'm going to go wash my hands. That way I can start on the burger so we don't do cross-contamination. I will be right back. The second part of this is burger, right? And I'm using the 85% lean, 15% fat. Make it into a ball, like so. Flatten it down, right? And I'm just gonna put it in the cast iron pan. The reason why we're using a cast iron pan is it allows for us to capture all that oil, fats, and drippings that come off of those burgers to make our gravy. All right, let me show you what they look like in the pan. Okay, with our burgers in the pan, I'm just gonna flatten this one out a little bit. Flatten that one out. We're just going to let these things cook down. Let's start on our cheese. So I just have some mozzarella cheese. It's really soft. I'm not going to give her a lot. And the reason being is, you know, cheese has a lot of fat in it. It's an excellent source of protein, but it's also a, a source of fat. So I'm just going to give her those two slices. We're going to wait for the burgers to be almost complete, and then we're going to put them on. We're into this cook about three minutes. Just gonna give the burger a flip. Well, the burger a flip. Let them keep cooking. We're already starting to get some fat down here in the bottom, a little residual, liking that. All right, let's keep cooking. We're about five more minutes into the cook. Give them a flip. Now, if you look here in the bottom, you can really start seeing that the oils and fats and the residuals from the burgers coming off there. That is nothing but flavor right there. Okay, we're into this cook about 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna put our piece of cheese down here on each burger. Turn the heat down on the grill and just let that cheese start melting away. Well, as you can see, our cheese is all melted. I am gonna take the burgers off because these got to come up, these got to actually come down to about room temperature. I'm not going to serve these burgers to Zoe like this. So we're not done with the oil and grease. Obviously, we have an egg to make. excellent source of protein, but 
but it does have fat in it as well, so you gotta watch it. Put it there with our burgers. All right, now it's time to let the eggs and burgers cool off. We already covered a few things that dogs can't have, like onions, pickles, tomatoes, lettuce, things like that. Flour is another thing. Bleached or enriched flour, they can't have. But they can have stone ground whole wheat flour. So we're gonna make a gravy. Now I know that the eggs took up a lot of the extra oils and fats in there, but there's still a lot of flavor in there. So I have some water that I'm gonna pour into the pan that we were just using. Stir the water around. Make sure to get up all that flavor that's on the bottom. Get all of that that was on the bottom. Even on the sides, because we're going to have some flavor on the sides, some residual. Excellent. So I'm just going to take a little bit of our flour and put it in. Maybe a teaspoon or tablespoon and a half. Turn our heat down again. Let it work its magic. It's already starting to thicken up. Keep stirring it. As you can see, it's really starting to thicken up nicely. Very cool. That's perfect. And remember to get the sides. Looks amazing. I did try it just a moment ago, and yeah, it takes a, it tastes a little bit like egg. No biggie, but I think Zoe's really gonna like it. All right, we're gonna let the gravy cool as well. I know I joke around about being a slacker, and to some degree, I really am, like with my hair. Woo. But when it comes to Zoe, I am not. She's She gets treated like royalty in our house. She's an amazing dog, love her to death, and uh, you know, you just can't imagine things without her. So I do like to make things for her, like these burgers. Now the burgers are still warm. I can I can hold them, you know. Same with the eggs. And she did try the gravy just a moment ago, and she really liked it. But they're not quite there yet. Give it another 10 minutes or so, and I think that they're going to be good. All right. The next thing you're going to see is Zoe giving her a, either approval or disapproval of what we just made. All right. See you in a minute. Come on, eat it. We think so. Give it a good sniff. Yum yum. Now I did quarter this for her. That way she doesn't have to just gulp a big burger all at once. But I think she likes it. Be plate looking good. <laughs> what do you think? I think personally, we got her seal approval on this, and it's actually pretty healthy for her. But at the end of the day, you know the old adage never trust a dog to watch over your hamburger. Good girl. Yep, going back for more. Well, there you have it, friends. A happy plate means a happy dog. She licked us pretty clean. I, I wouldn't eat off of personally now, but that's pretty clean for a dog. Pretty clean for a kid, too. All right. You saw how we made it. There was no added salt, peppers, any kind of spices, any kind of vegetables, nothing in there. Closest thing to a vegetable, I guess, would be the wheat, but it was whole wheat, right? We did put some mozzarella cheese on there, and I'm sure there's preservatives in that, but, you know, it was soft cheese. We didn't put a lot in there. The biggest thing is you've got to watch for that fat content. We want more protein than we want fat, especially for an older dog. All right, I'm going to put the recipe down below how I made this. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, ring that bell for notifications. 
It's free. And you know what the best price is paying? It's free. You saw Zoe. She approved it. She loved it. She loves you guys. I do too. Special thanks to Patty Style Productions for editing this video. All right, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Remember the dudafies, but this time we went to the dogs. We'll talk to you later, guys. Take care. Thank you.